turn up Tuesday. Um, let's get this day started. Off to the gym. Gonna be another good one. Uh, later on today, I'm gonna do a, put together a little like create your own macro guide. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna help a lot of people who are just getting started with dieting. Uh, but for now, let's get it popping. Look at this. This is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um, we're trying out a new meal prep company. They're actually gonna come sample on Saturday. Super excited about it. This is they're called Prep Lean. Um, we're gonna work with them to kind of create meal options that's gonna super fit everybody's um, macros and calories. Anyway, this is the turkey chili cheese fries. It's the first one of their meals I've tried. It's uh, 62 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, and six grams of fat. Yeah, I think it speaks for itself. Anyway, excited to try these out this Saturday. Betsy says she wants to be in the vlog. Everybody wanted to be in the vlog, but ain't nobody want to work hard. This is Beast Mode, Betsy. Say what you Damn, it's gonna be like vlog number four. Hey, Beast Mode, tell them how much you lost since you've been here, how long? Since I've been here, 52 pounds. She is half the woman she used to be. First of all, I'll do the leg workout from yesterday. I know I wrote it. Uh, all I can say is that she sucks. So, Michael, screw you. Uh, but uh, mad props to our members because it just reminds me of how gangster you guys are. You guys crush it. Put up with our BS, our adding weight, and uh, making you do extra reps and all that stuff. So, you guys are beasts, mad props. Yeah, so if you guys catch me looking a little thick tomorrow, having a booty like Rihanna, then you know it's because I did legs today. So. That's it. Turn up Tuesday, full effect. It's like lunchtime. Hell yeah. Can't wait for these evening classes. That'd be so dope. Today, as promised, I'm gonna go over like a very general idea of how to figure out what to eat and to diet. My goal is to help as many people as possible. Um, I totally get it. Like I said in a previous video, it's sometimes scary to come into a gym, especially when it's called hardcore fitness. Even though we like to say we're hardcore, and we understand we're super like, um, open to new people and super welcoming. But hey, I get it, sometimes it's scary. So basically what I wanna do is come up with an idea for our members uh, to extend this to their family and friends and then their family and friends and so on and so forth. So we can eventually get to the point where people at least have a good idea of what they should be eating. What I do wanna say is there is a million, million, million ways to diet. The most important thing to do is to follow one diet and to trust one diet and to do it consistently for a longer period of time. I always say it's way better to follow a terrible diet than it is to follow a, to not follow a good diet. So um, with that being said, uh, I think this is an awesome way for people to get a, a great idea of where to start with their dieting, how much food they should be consuming, a few things like that. And um, as said, by no means is it the only way, but it's just definitely a great way. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is start with step one. The most basic question of how many calories should you be eating? Now I'll get into the macronutrients in the next couple of steps, but for now, basically all we wanna do is find out how many calories you should be, you should be consuming daily. First, we're just gonna find out what, how many calories to consume to maintain exactly how you are. Basically, I'm gonna do this based off me, but you can use anybody using these algorithms. It can be male, female, whoever. How much you weigh doesn't matter. Basically, the idea is you wanna take your body weight in pounds. For me, I weigh 200 pounds. This morning, I was 200 point like two pounds. Um, when I first woke up, 200 pounds, and we're gonna times that by 14 to 16. That's a range. Um, you're not gonna be crazy accurate in terms of like guesstimating your activity level. To be safe, the 14, the lower end of this range, is for those who are just not that active. Maybe you work out a couple times a week. Um, your job might be an office job, that kind of deal. Um, and then 16 is more for those who are super active. They're working out five, six times a week. They might have an active job. Like you might be a laborer, you might be a personal trainer, you might be something like that, I don't know. Um, but what I do want to say is try not to try not to think that you're super active. So for me, even though I'm a personal trainer, I work out five times a week, twice a day, um, cardio and, and working out. Um, I'm just gonna go right in the middle to make it easy. Uh, I'll pick my goal at 3,000 calories. Um, that would, what would be my basic maintenance level calories. So that's how many calories I should consume daily to stay exactly as I am, 200 pounds. I know what you're saying. Michael, you're awesome, you're super cool. Why would you wanna change? Jokes. My goal currently is to get a little bit leaner. 
cool. Our 60 day challenge just finished. They look ridiculously awesome. It got me wanting to be a little bit leaner. Anyway, so that's where you're gonna change that calorie goal. So 3000 calories is how much I would consume to maintain exactly as I am. What you then wanna do is either add calories or subtract calories depending on your goal. Now, if your goal is to lose weight, you wanna subtract calories from that 3000 uh, maintenance level. If you wanna gain weight, you wanna add calories to that 3000 calorie maintenance level. Um, for me, seeing as I want to lose weight, drop body fat, I'm going to subtract calories. Um, now, if you want to drop about one to two pounds a week, um, I recommend dropping about 500 calories from that maintenance level. So for me, I'm going to reduce uh, 500 calories from the 3,000 calorie maintenance level to 2,500. Now, you can be less or more aggressive. I wouldn't recommend going much more than like maybe six or 700 calories um, from that maintenance level to start with and taking it a little bit slower. So for me, I only go 500 calories off that maintenance level, so that'll put me at 2,500 calories. All right, guys, so step two. Um, we figured out how many calories you're gonna have per day or I'm gonna have per day um, in order to drop about one to two pounds per week and, and start leaning out and getting shredded. Um, for me, that's 2,500 calories. Um, the next step and uh, is to find out your macronutrients. So there's three macronutrients without getting too into it. Uh, proteins, carbohydrates, and fats. Um, there is a fourth alcohol, but for now, let's just presume we're not drinking. Um, uh, and we're just gonna say that there's proteins, carbs, and fats. So for first, we're gonna figure out how much protein you should be having. It's pretty simple. There's a million ways you can do this. You could work off how lean you are, so you could go off lean muscle mass, you could go off a million different things. Uh, normally you'd work up a range, but again, I want to make it super simple. So we're just going to say you want to have one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So for me, I weigh 200 pounds, I'm going to have 200 grams of protein. Simple. That's going to make me swole, swoller, and keep me hit my goals. Um, step three. Uh, now we've figured out our calories we want to have per day, we've figured out how much protein we should have in grams. Uh, next step you want to do is you want to figure out how much fat you should have. Fat's super important, it, it's required. You need to have a fat intake so you can't not eat fat. That's not gonna make you leaner. A super simple way to figure out how much fat you should have is you wanna take your body weight in pounds and you're gonna times it by a range of 0.3 to 0.4. For me, 200 pounds, I'm gonna times it by 0.3 to 0.4, that gives me 60 to 80 is my range. Now that's grams of fat. Now, the way I like to explain is how you wanna pick whereabouts in that range you fall is simply by preference of food sources. Now, if you're someone that likes to eat peanut butters, whole eggs, nuts, avocados, oils, that kind of thing, um, then you wanna be higher on that fat range. You wanna have closer to 80 grams of fat because it allows you to have a few more of those things. Now, if you're someone who more um, prefers things like carbohydrates like rice, um, potatoes, breads, tortillas, um, rice cakes, that kind of thing, pastas, that kind of thing, then you want to be closer to the 60s, so the lower end of that range, because what that's going to allow you to do is take up more of your calories with carbohydrates. Um, so for me, I kind of prefer to have more carbohydrates, So, and I also feel like it helps fuel my workouts. Um, obviously, you guys all know I'm a beast in the gym. Um, no, I just wasn't born like that. It's because I have lots of carbs. So I'm gonna go closer to 60 grams of fat, um, and then I'll show you how you wanna calculate your carbohydrates in the next step. Step four. Anyway, step four. Uh, no, I'm not a genius. I know what you guys are thinking. He's smart, he's funny, he's got great looks, uh, he's a triple threat. No, I'm not smart at all, but I am the other things. This is how we're gonna work out your carbohydrates, the last remaining macronutrient. Basically what we've done, we found out how many calories I should consume each day in order to hit my goal. We figured out how many grams of protein we, I should have. We figured out how many grams of fat I should have, 60. The easiest way or the, the way you find out how many carbohydrates you should have is you literally fill up the rest of your calories with carbohydrate. Now you're probably asking, how are you gonna do that, Michael? Are you just a magician? No. So this is simple. Each protein gram equals four calories. Each gram of carbohydrates equals four calories. Each gram of fat equals nine calories. Um, so basically, your macronutrients equal your calorie amount. Right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take um, my grams of protein, which is 200, times it by four, equals 800 calories. That's 800 calories I consume daily from protein. Then we're gonna take my grams of fat, which is 60, 
times it by nine calories equals 540. So that's 540 calories per day I eat from fat. Now we add those two together, we get 1,340 calories I've already taken out of my goal, calorie goal, um, which, is main, which is taken up by protein and fat. Now we need to find carbs. So basically what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take this 2,500 calorie goal of mine, we're gonna subtract the 1,340 calories we've already used with our proteins and fats, and that's gonna give us 1,160. 1,160 is the amount of calories I have remaining to fill up with carbohydrates. Now it's simple, you take those remaining calories and you're gonna divide it by four. So 1,160 calories divided by four, I've already done the math, no I'm not a genius, equals 290. So basically, very simply, I have 290 grams of carbohydrates that will fill up my remaining calories, um, and that's gonna give me my macronutrients. Um, I'll show you guys the last step in a second. The last step, step number five is simple. Um, we figured out how many calories I'm gonna consume each day, 2,500. Those 2,500 calories consist of the macronutrients, 200 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat, and 290 grams of carbs. Um, so, quite simply, the next set, next step is to get shredded. But seriously, um, you can use this. Anybody can use this. I want you guys to pass it on to your friends, your family, everybody. It's gonna give them the best idea or a great idea of where they should be, um, how many calories, what their macros should be daily in order to hit their goal. Um, like I said, you can use these algorithms or calculations, whatever you wanna call it, with any weight. You can be any weight, you can be male, female, you just plug in those algorithms, the calculations I showed you guys, um, and you're set to go. Now the next step is actually following those macronutrients and tracking it. Now I'll make another video uh, soon, um, basically showing you guys how to track it using MyFitnessPal, which is a free app. Um, it's literally the best app there is in terms of logging food, um, tracking calories, tracking macronutrients. It has like every food in the world on it. Um, but I'll show you guys that another time. But yeah, hope this is informative, hope it helped. Let's make North County shredded uh, in 2018. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment um, on this post. You can uh, hit us up, private message. You can email me, michael at hardcorefitnesssd.com. Hit me up, I'm happy to help. That's what we're here for. Uh, 2018, North County about to be the most shredded county in America. You heard it here first. Let's get it. Hey guys, I found, I found him, I found it in his natural habitat. I know what you're thinking, it, it's hard. He's hard to catch because he's slippery, covered in oil like always. And uh, his shorts are smaller than any man should ever wear, but I found him, look at him. You guys know him, he's the people's champ. He is the people's champ. Holy hell, those are the longest pants I've ever seen him wear. Look at him, it's Miguel! It is Miguel! There's the famous double bicep flex. Miguel, how you doing today? It's Tuesday. Doing great. Living the dream along with you guys. Copycat, copycat, he says that, copycat. Right. Um, anyway, Miguel, how's your day doing? What's happening? Very good. Tell us about your Tuesday. Well, today we are reaching out to new members that uh, recently signed up with us to see uh, how their experience is with us. And, I'll tell you how their experience is. Their experience is awesome because they get to see this face right. every day. Look at that, look at that. I know what you think, guys. The man barely looks 45. You're right. He's only 44. Actually, no, 41. 41. Sorry, apologies, like apologies. Okay. Feels like a 28 year old. That's what he says. Um, anyway, the most extra person I've ever met in my life. Uh, also a BFF of mine. Um, yeah, excited. These classes, uh, 4.30 to 5.30 just got finished. They crushed it. It was um, conditioning today. Uh, I think it's safe to say they look conditioned. Um, yeah, stay tuned. So I know it's dark out here, and um, you guys probably think it's the morning, but it is in fact, uh, what time is it? It is in fact 6 o'clock at night. Whatever. I like coffee. So, uh, anyway, just quick, picking up a coffee for me and Miguel because um, we BFFs and we do what we BFFs do. I just got a grande non-fat latte. Uh, about to go back to the gym. I'm going to teach fight camp in a little bit. Um, Tuesday's sick. Going to be been a super productive Tuesday. Um, 
Got a lot of cool things coming for the members, like I said, and uh, huge plans for January, February. Um, and in the meantime, uh, the coolest thing that what we were thinking and we not noticed today is the fact that like, we just got done with a six day challenge. It's November, it's heading into holiday season, but all of our members are still at the gym. It's super dope. We've been reaching out to people who haven't been there in a week or so, and um, they're coming back in. Uh, and I spoke to a guy today about this, and um, homie Jake, shout out. Um, saying how like i guess there's a common trend that like november and december are normally super dead months but screw that i think it's all a state of mind and uh i'm not about to believe that hype so uh november and december are about to be huge months for the gym so uh yeah going hard as always turn up tuesday about to have a coffee because <laughs> caffeine all day every day i'll see you guys in fight camp What's up, mate? You a savage! Yeah! Keep it up, guys! Keep it up! Come on now, let's go, let's go, let's go, Beast Mode! Another productive day, Tuesday done. Yeah, pumped for you guys to see this uh, diet and spread the word with your family and friends so we can all get shredded this uh, 2018. Um, if you guys have any questions, as I said, shoot me in the comments. Uh, appreciate your love, appreciate you guys watching. Um, yeah, this shit's about to take off. Anyway, uh, turn off Tuesday, coming to an end. Excited for workout Wednesday. Um, yeah, go hard. Catch you on the line.